In the world of retail, competition is cutthroat. There's a jungle out there and it's dangerous. These entrepreneurs have big ambitions. My dream is to see an incredible pop in every home in America. So they've come to our investor and his team of experts for help. I think she can take this retail opportunity and rock it. They'll get quizzed by real consumers. Why is this better than regular video? And get feedback. It's real pricey. It just looks too generic. And in the end, Joe and Joe alone decides if they will receive the backing of Hatched Business Solutions. I think you have so much to offer, kid. And a chance to change their lives forever. This week, an enterprising duo who've created an all-natural energy supplement. We took 46 whole raw fruits and vegetables and freeze-dried them. No artificial anything. It's pure food. Will green energy bear fruit? If I drank one of these every day, I would never have to eat a fruit ever again in my entire life. Are you seriously saying that? Or will the experts' concerns... How much have you made? Uh... Very little, to be perfectly <laughs> honest. It concerns me how much money you've already lost. Make their dreams die on the vine. Here's the decision. Our investor Joe has brought together his experts. Freddie Cameron is a retail expert with over 16 years of experience, responsible for over $2 billion in product sales. And Nicole Lappin is a New York Times bestselling author and one of the nation's top financial experts, anchoring financial news on CNBC, CNN, and Bloomberg. I'm so excited about this week's product category, nutritional supplements. These entrepreneurs are really riding these macro trends of people trying to be healthier. It's a huge business. It's growing every year. Retailers are definitely expanding this category. Are you guys ready to hear from the entrepreneur? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's Let's go. Absolutely. Franco and Bob are seeking an investment to launch their healthy energy supplement into retail success. Hi. Gentlemen. Hi. My name is Bob Niemer. And I'm Franco Romero. Our product is Green Energy. It was a superfood nutritional blend. And what we did is we took 46 whole raw fruits and vegetables and freeze dried them to retain the nutrient value. No artificial anything. It's pure food. If you take this product, what you'll feel will be natural energy. It's meant to be taken first thing in the morning in water. And just to give you a hint as to who takes the product, I make the product for my grandkids. I make pops for them. You can mix in yogurt or like I do, I make a smoothie using whey protein. Okay. We found that people who aren't big eaters of fruits and vegetables will gobble this product up. Every time I take it, it's new energy, it's a new force. I'm 70. You look, you look good, good for 70. You're 70? Thank you. Yes. I thought I was a 30-some-year-old man in front of you right now. <laughs> I have more energy now than when I was 18. In my opinion, you have a lot of attention with your product. Green energy is a great product. It's a convenient way for kids and adults to eat their fruits and vegetables in a supplement form. I'm excited to hear more. Why'd you start this company? My wife was diagnosed with MS. I started looking into alternative types of nutrition. She used it as part of her diet. It changed her life, and Bob and I met and formed Green Energy. And just seeing what we've done with a lot of people that have taken our product, it's inspiring. That's awesome. It's really admirable that Franco was inspired by his wife to create this product. But there are so many energy supplements on the market. I'm really curious to see how their product is different. I'm vegan, I take a lot of these types of products. How does this one differentiate from the rest? Three ways, really, smell, strength, and taste. Mm. We found that many of these products you can't swallow. They taste so bad. And the people that have been swallowing them, they'd rather get something that tastes good, smells good, and reacts in the body. So let's try it. All right, let's okay. do it. This is what we call original. Taste profile is green apple, cherry, All vanilla. Right. Thank you. Ooh. Looks good. Wow. I'll tell you what, I think it's really nice. It actually has a great taste to it. It's not too sweet, doesn't leave a nasty aftertaste in your mouth. It's just right. Exactly. And you're really tasting pure food. So have you demonstrated the product inside retail stores? Yes. We've spent an enormous amount of time doing sampling because of that barrier that people have in their minds about what this might taste like just because of the way it looks. OK. Most consumers have a preconceived notion that supplements taste bad. So it's great these guys do in-store demonstrations to educate and win over the consumers on the taste. Where do you sell this product now? We currently have the Midwest region. We started with one store uh, two years ago, and we grew it to now 60 stores. And what's the suggested retail price? They're retailing a 30-day supply for $37.99. I think it's a little high. Retailers want to make a lot of money but they also want to sell a lot of it as well. The healthy supplement category is saturated with a lot of products. So if they want to be successful in retail, they have to have a competitive price. 
How much have you invested already? All total, about a little over $500,000. And how much have you made? Right now, uh, very little, to be perfectly <laughs> honest with you. It's a little over 300000 It concerns me how much money you've already lost. Can you explain what happened? When we did our development, we went right into the medical community thinking that this was the natural product for clinics. And we came to find out that as a place to make money, that wasn't where we were going to be able to do that. So in the last couple of years, we've shifted everything to doing more traditional retail. Sounds like you're changing strategies mm -hmm. and moving into a different direction, and that can be really tough. From an investor's point of view, it's a huge red flag if a startup company has spent a ton of money and is now switching gears completely and trying to target a different market. I'm all about the way something looks. So when I look at your package, it really doesn't stand out making your package, I will say, cooler. Mm -hmm. You attract that younger audience to buy your product. You look agree. at the processed energy drinks out now, mm -hmm. kind of has that young feel to it. Yeah, good Kind of attract that idea. younger consumers. Right. I mean, millennials are spending a lot, and they're going to spend in the trillions of dollars by 2017. The healthy eating trend has been led by health-conscious millennials, who are the core demographic for this product. So having a packaging that targets them is a great marketing strategy. What do you want from us? We're really looking for help with investment to develop a, a national marketing campaign around both retail and direct consumer response. Okay. Okay, so here's the deal, guys. What we're gonna do tomorrow is set up a retail challenge for you. You're gonna be right here in the Hatched Pop-Up Store, and you're gonna be interacting with consumers one-on-one. -on -one. That's your one big chance, because we're gonna take a look at that consumer feedback, and that's gonna help Joe make his final decision. Good luck, guys. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. I'm super excited for retail, because the key is getting people to taste the product and understand what it is, and that's what we do every day. Demoing for us is like second nature. Yeah. Coming up, will green energy pass with flying colors? Ooh, that's nice. That's really good. Or will it make the consumers green around the gills? I thought it was a uh, swamp water. Franco and Bob have created a healthy energy supplement which they hope to turn into a national brand. They got a ton of feedback from our experts. When I look at your package, it really doesn't stand out. But before our investor Joe decides if he's going to financially back them, he needs to hear from potential consumers. So today, Franco and Bob will have to pitch green energy to over 100 consumers. They will then give their feedback in a survey which will be analyzed closely by Nicole and Freddie before Joe makes his final decision. Hey! Hello! Hi there! Hi! So what do we got here? We have green energy. We take raw fruits and vegetables, freeze dry them into this powder. One scoop, put it in a glass of water, or put it in your blender and make a smoothie. If you take it every day in about three to five days, you'll begin to feel the difference. Americans love their energy supplements, but so many are packed with processed ingredients. Let's see how consumers react to having a healthier alternative. You like fruits and vegetables? Yeah. How about 46? Can't even name 46 vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> no GMOs, no MSG, no wheat, no dairy, no yeast, no eggs, no soy, no nuts. Wow. It's pure food. One serving. You're getting the nutrient value of 25 whole raw fruits and vegetables. There's nothing else like this anywhere else. I was really impressed with how much nutrients they were able to put into one serving. If I drank one of these every day, right. I would every never day. have to eat a vegetable ever again in my entire life. Are you seriously saying that? You could you do that. I I'm sold. Green Energy won the consumers over with its healthy ingredients, but that's just half the battle. If they can't stomach it, they're never going to buy it, and that means no green. So let's see how consumers react to the taste. Would you like to try a little bit of our green one? Of course I would. I mean, pretty much every supplement I put in my body tastes like chalk. A lot of people yeah. think it's going to actually probably taste the way it looks. Uh, seeing that it was green was a little off-putting. You see the color, and initially you think, wouldn't really, you know, work for me. Oh, I thought it was uh, swamp water. That's nice. It's refreshing. It's light. It's not chalky or anything. It tastes like tea. Ooh, that's nice. It tastes a lot better than I was expecting. This product was much tastier than products I've been taking. That's really good. For a supplement, this is by far the best that I've had. Now, would you take that product every day? Absolutely. Anything for my body. 
Consumers gave green energy the green light on taste, but will they remain as energized when they hear the price? So um, how much does this package go for? This container has a month's supply. It sells for $37.99. Still for a dollar a day? Yeah, I do that. That's not bad. The price is very good. That's reasonable. The price point, I think, was very competitive. I think it was priced really well. I buy this every day. Great. But some of our consumers found the price hard to swallow. I feel like that might be a little much. I can't see myself dropping over $30. Oh, that seems kind of expensive for me. Oof. Bring the price down and I might buy some. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the feedback we're getting from people is just wonderful. It's such a great, great opportunity that uh, we are so excited. Tell me, what do you think about the packaging? It's nice, it's clean. I like the colors on here, oh, it really stands out for me. One of the things you guys nailed is putting fruit on the front rather okay. than too many vegetables. Franco and Bob are getting some really positive feedback on their packaging, but if they want to capitalize on a much younger demographic, they have to have a more trendy design. I think the packaging more appeals to older people. It wouldn't stick out. It looks like the version of something that already exists. The packaging, nothing original. It just looks too generic. Seems like our young consumers are siding with Freddie on the packaging. Packaging. And they also chimed in with some critiques of their own. Is there an ingredient? Oh, yeah, there's a, a little bit of an ingredients list, mm -hmm. I guess. Here's a list. That's everything you're drinking right wow. now. Wow. That's crazy. They have 40 some ingredients, however, none of it was listed on the packaging, and I feel like that's the most marketable aspect. Our consumers make a valid point. When your product has so many great ingredients, it's a huge selling point, and you need to brag about it on your packaging. As the retail day comes to an end, the consumers fill out their surveys and give their feedback on green energy. Will the survey results be strong enough to convince our investor Joe to back this product? We really are excited about how people have received our product. I'm going home more jazz than when I came this morning. My prediction is, I think we're gonna get a great reaction from the panel. It's time for the Hatched Pop Quiz. Approximately how much does the U.S. nutritional supplement industry generate annually? Is it A, $12 billion, B, $20 billion, or C, $35 billion? Find out the answer when we return to Hatched. Before the break, we asked, approximately how much does the U.S. nutritional supplement industry generate annually? Is it A, $12 billion, B, $20 billion, or C, $35 billion? The answer is C. The U.S. nutritional supplement industry generates approximately $35 billion annually. It's considered one of the fastest growing industries in the world. Franco and Bob came to Hatch Business Solutions looking for an investment to turn their healthy energy supplement into a household name. They faced the ultimate retail challenge. The feedback we're getting is just wonderful. People are hungry for nutrition, and we're excited to bring it out to them. But will the consumer survey results be strong enough to convince our investor, Joe, that their product is worthy of financial backing? All right, guys, we have the results in. Dun, 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 dun. Are you ready to bring in the entrepreneurs? Drive that puppy on in here. Hello, Happy gentlemen. Morning. Welcome back. I like Hello. your Happy snazzy <laughs> matching shirts. Look at that. You have a green energy <laughs> on your shirt. So how was the retail experience? It was fabulous from the standpoint that everybody gave me an affirmation of the fact that they liked the product. That was the good. The bad was, uh, it was, it, it was grueling. <laughs> it was grueling. We were tired by the time it was over. So you're ready to hear the results? Yes, we are. We are. We all enjoyed tasting your product, and consumers, for the most part, agreed with us. More than 70% said they liked the taste of green energy. Well, that's nice. Mm, this tastes like tea. For a supplement, this is by far the best that I've had. And that's great, because your category in a retail store, a lot of stuff doesn't taste good. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And that is the perception of the consumer. The minute they even look at it, ooh, it's green, you know, it must not taste good. And yeah. once they taste it, they love it. So what that shows us is that you need to double and triple down on your sampling marketing efforts. Mm -hmm. Sampling is really expensive in retail, but it, it certainly is. pays dividends. We couldn't agree yeah. with you more. So let's talk about your packaging results. When the consumers were asked, only 65% liked your packaging. It wouldn't stick out. It just looks too generic. Nothing original. The packaging more appeals to older people. I highly recommend you change your package. And you know my thoughts, right? Mm -hmm. I do. Yes, we do. Health conscious millennials are big spenders in this category. So having a more youthful package will help target them. 
them. We're going to change that for sure, as well as one comment we got when we showed the ingredient sheet, somebody said, why don't you have that on the container? And I said to Franco, you know something? When they read the ingredients, they get familiar with the product. So maybe your new package will include the list of all the things that are inside your actual product. Yes. Another survey result, the consumer's feedback on your overall price point. 80% thought your product was priced fairly. That's reasonable. The price is very good. I think it was priced really well. The price point, I think, was very competitive. Although the majority agree with your, your price point, I still think to be competitive in the marketplace, you need to lower your price a little bit more than what it is now, especially because the market is so saturated with similar products. Obviously, as this comes with more volume, as we will be able to bring the pricing down a little bit more. The wealthiest retailer in the nation says stack them deep and sell them cheap. Yep. It doesn't mean yep. that you cheapen your product. It just means that you squeeze every dime out of it you can get out of it. Absolutely. We're good squeezers, aren't we? Very good squeezers. We can squeeze. <laughs> well, you're we juicers. <laughs> All right. Rubber meets the road here, boys. One last shot. Anything else you want to say to me? Well, Anything um, at all? OK. Uh, you might want to tell me I'm handsome. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really felt consumers want and they're ready to be healthier. And we're ready to be able to give them that. We know this product's been accepted. It just has to get a bigger audience. And you folks can give us the bigger audience. The more people that pick this product up and use it, the healthier they get. That's our goal. All right, boys. Now we're a little bit excited and a little bit nervous. This could not just change our lives, but right. it could really change the way the world views nutrition and health. It's time for Joe to consult with his experts before he makes his final decision. Talk to me about green energy. What do you think? I think green energy is a great product. It had the wrong strategy out of the gate. Absolutely. I hate the fact that he spent so much money and their returns were so low. But I think with their new strategy, they can really knock it out of the park. They're riding a huge macro trend of folks wanting to be healthy. I agree with you 100%. There's definitely a market for that item. Also keep in mind, the taste is really impressive. If they double and triple down on their sampling marketing strategy, then they can go places. I agree. The problem, Joe, is that it's a tough market to get into. There are a ton of other energy supplements fighting for shelf space. OK, heard you both loud and clear. I have a decision. Let's bring them in and give them the news. Coming up. It's frightening, it's exciting, it's an intimidating moment. Here's the decision. Franco and Bob came to Hatch Business Solutions in the hopes of turning their healthy energy supplement into a household name. At the Retail Challenge, consumers went bananas for green energy. There's nothing else like this anywhere else. I'm sold. But our investor and his experts have major concerns. I hate the fact that he spent so much money and their returns were so low. And now it's decision time. Have Franco and Bob done enough to secure an investment to turn their product into a national brand? It's frightening. It's exciting. It's an intimidating moment, but I have no regrets. And regardless of the outcome, this was the best experience of our life. Gentlemen, we haven't made it easy for you. You've had to work hard. You guys have a great product, and you know that. Thank you. That said, after careful deliberation, here's the decision. We at Hatched Business Solutions would like to work with you. Oh, it's, it's just mind-boggling. It's just everything yeah. we would dream for. I am speechless. I don't know what And if you know Bob, that's not an easy <laughs> thing. How do you guys feel? Uh, I feel relief. <laughs> I feel excited. I mean, I, I don't know what to feel. I'm like numb. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Ditto. <laughs> Thank you. That you have the faith in us, it's incredible. Absolutely incredible to be validated in this kind of a arena, absolutely nothing could be better. You guys definitely have a great product. Thank you. You have something that the world is going to really enjoy. We just got to yeah. get it ready. You're going to be unstoppable. Oh. And we're all going to make some real green. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. 
What a dream. As an entrepreneur, people are gonna tell you you can't do it. Every time that was told to me, it was like waving a red flag in front of a bull. It made me say, yes, we can. We're gonna do it, and we're gonna do it better than anybody else.